Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Ben Kiker. So I wasn't sure before we started this interview, Ben, just how open and honest I wanted to be in this conversation, but I think I am going to share a bit more about myself and that is, yeah, that I have been sober now for over a year. I think I'm coming up, it may even be a year and a half. And it is the second time that I've gone through this. And I was never the kind of drinker, for the most part, that you would have said that person has a problem. It was mostly something where I just felt I needed to soothe myself. It was a way to soothe myself in the evenings by having two or three glasses of wine. My issue was I just couldn't stop. Like I would stop after the second or third glass. The next day, I wanted it again. And what I can say, and I don't know if this has been your experience, Ben, is that I came to recognize that I was using the alcohol to comfort myself and that I wasn't allowing myself to feel pain that I had. And we all have pain, but to really feel it and sit with it and recognize that you will get to the other side. And you don't need the crutch. You don't need to numb yourself to get through the day or get through the month. Does that resonate at all with you? Absolutely. And first and foremost, congrats on the decision that you made and congrats on being now sober over a year. That's a big friggin' deal. By the way, when I hear people that celebrate 30 days, I am blown away. That's a very, very difficult thing to do. So first and foremost, congrats on that. I think all addiction is either running from something or running to something. And the self-awareness that you had, that you were running from some level of pain that you didn't want to sit with, confirms that. And that leads to one of the things that we learn to do in recovery, which by the way, even before I cross that line into addiction, is we learn much better emotional regulation. And independent of all of this, I wish what I would have heard when I was 20, 21, and 22, and by the way, not drinking to the level that I later did and not certainly not using the drugs that I did later, what I really wish that I would have learned or someone would have had a conversation with me about at that point is really around this topic of emotional regulation. How do you sit with the feelings and the thoughts that are uncomfortable? And that for me has been one of the big lessons, one of the big learnings for me on my journey. And quite frankly, it's a lot of what I do with clients today is helping them with that emotional regulation. So how do you do that? How do you sit with those uncomfortable feelings and get to the other side? So I'm going to share, in fact, I just did a workshop with a group of folks who are in recovery, and I'm going to share one of my favorite go-to techniques for doing that. Are you ready? I am ready. Hit the pause button, pull up, and observe your thinking, observe the feeling without attaching to it. So hit the pause button pull up and observe our thinking. And what you try to do is create a little bit of distance between yourself and between that thought, between that feeling that maybe hijacked you in that moment. And by creating that distance, 
you then had the ability to get back to, and this is one of my six essentials to getting shit done. You then had the ability to remind yourself, there are truly only two things that I control, the actions that I take and the attitude that I show up with. So now that I have hit the pause button, I've pulled up, I've created a little bit of psychological distance between me and this issue. What is a healthy action I can take or what's an adjustment to my attitude, my outlook that I can make in order to come back into the present moment? Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.